Okay, all right. Wow, not a very good hair day. <clears throat> all right, okay. So homework tonight, homework number 20 for Monday the 6th of November. This week's homework is going to be pretty straightforward. It's a strict review of last week's topics. Uh, three questions a night, five minutes plus the two, three-minute video. So your homework is going to be pretty consistent, okay? So nothing too new here. Now, let's take a look. So, all right, representing Dodgers, by the way. Okay, all right. Anyways, now, uh, I would do two of these today. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll do one question each. So that way your homework videos won't be too uh, burdensome or too long. So this is easy. We don't even need to compare two fractions. So I'm not too happy with uh, that they're calling this ordering fractions. All right. We are ordering, but comparing would be more, seems would be, would be more appropriate. Now, here we have two sevens and one fifths, right? So the first step again is to find a common denominator, which is 35. So two sevens, right? Seven times five is 35, so two times five is 10. Five times seven is 35, one times seven is seven. So again, it's already immediately obvious to us which one's greater. It's the first fraction. So here, I'm going to find a common denominator, which is 35. Now, notice it didn't say least common denominator. It doesn't have to be the least. Okay. So if that would make, so would that, if that would make your life easier by solving it faster, then by all means, don't spend too much time looking for the LCD, the least common denominator. All right. Now, we did the math already. So I'm just going to do it here. So two, now two sevens is what? Greater than one fifth, right? <clears throat> All right, let's do one more. Okay. All right. So let me clear the screen here. Now here we got five, six, and um, what is that? Three fourths. So what's the common denominator between those two? I'll write above it. Okay. Easier to see. Um, yep, 12. Okay. It's so not 24, but if you write 24 and you do the equivalent fractions correctly, it doesn't change anything. Right. So that's 6 times 2 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10, 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9. Barely is the first fraction greater than the other. So let me put the answer in. Now common denominator is 12. So 6 times 2 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10. All right, so it, it guides you actually. It's not even, it's not too difficult to do because it, it guides you each step of the way, which is good. It's good practice. All right, submit the answer. And that's it. All right, so uh, now I wish they would have you do this on the number line, but the answer key includes the number line, so which is fine. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Uh, let's do one question on each night of the week. All right, for the following three homeworks. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. All right, and I sincerely hope every one of you would do the homework so I can give you guys all extra credit. So, all right, let's see if we can make this happen. All right, bye now. OMG, that was so good.